So hello, hello. Um, I completely fell off my uploading routine this week and basically it's because I wanted to go out of town for a couple days and I thought I was going to still be able to like maintain my schedule and or even just like my supplement schedule my glutathione all the other supplements I'm on basically like all of that went out the window I think like I kept up for like two days and then yeah it was just nothing so right now like my skin I've been off of glutathione I think for like three or about three days right now and I've been off of my magnesium for about the same amount of time which is like terrible like don't stop um i'll talk a little bit about like the side effects i've been experiencing since i've like just stopped cold turkey obviously i'm getting back on everything now that i'm getting my schedule back to normal but so i had the you know honestly it's a great idea i'm not gonna lie it's a great idea basically the idea was if you guys know astro astrocartography it's basically where you take your natal chart so the chart of where all the planets were in the sky at the exact time of your birth and you put it over the world map and so it uses longitude and latitude and it tells you different areas of the world and where you will thrive so for instance some people will be living like on a, their venus line and love and money like just comes so easily like just opportunities um being able to manifest everything manifests even quicker the same thing with being like on your jupiter line but these lines are only in certain areas of the world and so from each i would say continent so as far as talking about for the u.s you know there's going to be one section of the u.s where you'll have your venus or your jupiter lines and then the other sections are going to be more of your mars saturn pluto uranus neptune and so someone living on let's say like their mars line it's more of they're always busy they probably it's more work no play um they really don't like take enough time to like smell the roses but it's definitely a very active area for them so maybe to live on your mars line for like during college or during training for like your job it'll help you get things done or maybe training for a sport mars is a very athletic um, planet um, but for everything else you probably wouldn't want to be there long term being on your uranus line if you've ever had like a goal or things that you wanted in your life and you feel like things just like come out of like left field like random stuff happens to you nothing really goes how you thought it was going to go um it's very hard for you to stay focused on things you're probably living on your uranus line um, a saturn line just means um you know it's more of discipline um staying focused with work and honestly it's just more like an energy of working 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 but not enough like coming back you know so it's not necessarily your hard work paying off quickly it's like your hard work paying off like six years down the road or something so anyways these lines are pretty interesting or even living on your sun line your sun line means you will be very popular you're going to meet amazing people wonderful people being on your chiron line you'll meet people that will change your life that literally you guys know each other for a week and it'll change your perspective on um you know different things um in life it could be on relationships or with a career or something like that so i've lived on some of these different lines during my life and um i've actually basically mapped it out on what is true and what is not and so i believe in it because i've i've actually lived it and so i've kind of tested it out but the areas i have not visited would be my venus line and my jupiter line and it's like holy crap what would it be like to be able to manifest so easily like just to have things happen and with venus line it's kind of a line of luxury of looking good feeling good and it's just like being in the right place at the right time like it's like the line of you going out to a party making the connections networking and then having awesome opportunities with other people that usually in like your hometown you would never have this opportunity and so for different people these venus lines these jupiter lines are in different areas so mine could be like let's say on the usually they're only in certain areas so you can't say just the entire east coast because for the u.s we have a huge country but it would be a certain amount of like states for other people they're literally their venus line could like be in like kansas <laughs> or like going through missouri or you know it could be in some of those midwest states um or for some people it's actually in california and um so i've charted like um people who were amazing authors amazing like uh, directors screenwrites actresses majority of them have all of that stuff that would make you fame and fortune 
in natural cartography, their line was California. And so that's where their life basically played out as a movie. And some of these people, um, they came from like crazy countries like Russia where they had nothing. And then all of a sudden they like, they make it big. And so it's definitely not just by accident. A lot of these things can be explained. So that's what got me into, I was like, okay, how could I travel to some of these places? Like right now I wanna go to Venus, I wanna go to Jupiter, and I wanna stay for like a week or two. Um, but I was like, okay, how could I do that? But let's do it and not like, what if I'm just like wasting my money? Like, cause think about it, you're gonna need the flight, you're gonna need to rent a car for however many days. Renting a car for days on days on days gets very expensive. And then you're gonna need an actual place to live. Um, well, probably Airbnb would be pretty easy because then at least you have like a kitchen and everything. It would be less money than like a hotel. But then, you know, you have to also feed yourself. And I was like, okay, how can I do this? And so there's this website that I signed up for literally three years ago. So like, <laughs> three years ago um, and basically it's a thing where people look for people to travel with and so some of the trips um, yeah you either you guys could split the trip or the other person will host you um, or either or you'll take someone to go on a trip and so I forgot about it and then I got back on it um, oh, well, I thought I was gonna have to make like a new uh, bio and everything, but basically I had I still have my like my old bio up from like three years ago. So I get back on there and of course start meeting a lot of different people who are going to all these different places. And so um, a lot of people are like going to places like Cancun, Mexico. There was a couple of trips of people offering, hey, do you want to go to Hawaii? Do you want to go to the Florida Keys? So the doorbell just rang and the dog was crazy. So I don't really know where I was at. Um, but basically I was getting all these offers to go on these trips and um, wow, that sounds amazing going on some of these trips um, You know, it, it's not that's not my focus. My focus is I want to spend like a week or two on my Venus line on my Jupiter line Not only that I want to try to manifest something from that area uh, Just to see is it more easy? Like what is the change in energy? so I wait and so there's like three different people I'm talking to and so you know one of them he was going to all these other places like he was going to like Las Vegas or he was going to like Arizona um, I've already been to those places I already know what energy lines I have on those areas so I wasn't really interested in and then there's this one guy um, he actually lives like not too far well I mean like five hours from me but um, he's in South Florida and um, he has a family cabin in one of the states that has my venus line and so i was like perfect <laughs> perfect and so every summer he likes to go up there it's really pretty he's like okay well you know if we hit it off when i go for my you know vacation time in the summer um you know maybe we can go together and so i was like great so what we decided to do is obviously like we talked for a couple of weeks like maybe like one or two and then he was like you know what I want to fly you out to his house that is here in South Florida and um, we'll just see how it goes you can stay for a couple days and um, yeah basically that'll be us meeting for the first time so to me when someone gets flown out flew out whatever you want to call it you're usually meeting someone you've never met before like technically I have been flown out but it's like the person like I knew him I used to work with him a couple of years prior to this happening and so like he flew me out to this um, basically there was like an event like a party that was happening in Dallas he wanted me to be his date for it uh, he was coming from another state so he flew there and then I flew from my state separately but like obviously like we had already mo known each other in real life even though like we didn't see each other like every day so I've kind of done this before but like not really you know, aside from that, going anywhere, it would be like with my, my boyfriend, but right now I'm single. So, um, being single, obviously, like, you can try, like, stupid risky stuff like this, and you're not gonna, like, hurt anyone's feelings. <laughs> obviously, don't do this if you're in, like, a relationship or something. Um, but yeah, like, I wanted to try it, and so what was gonna happen is, like, last week, last Wednesday, I was gonna fly out here at, like, 11-ish you know get to south florida because like it's a really quick flight but it's a really long drive and then i was going to stay there until friday so just from wednesday to friday what ended up happening because we have mercury retrograde so it messes up things with computers electronics technology um it can mess up things like with your car or with um any so i just had to change out my camera battery but 
Where was I? <laughs> Uh, Mercury retrograde just messes up a lot of things so basically what happened was for the first time ever in my life out of all the flights I've ever taken my flight was actually canceled like I'm trying to I'm about to go like check in my bag and um, basically it just like flashes up on the sign that my flight is canceled and so I'm just like holy crap I texted him and he's like I can't believe this did they try to reschedule another flight and like they did but they rescheduled it for like Friday and like friday at like 6 a.m in the morning and i was just like ew and so basically what he ended up happening is he bought me another flight for that same day on wednesday with another airline but it wasn't leaving until like at night so basically we're, we weren't gonna have like half of the day like i thought we were gonna so what ended up happening is instead of me going home on friday i stayed from wednesday night to saturday so Basically, I got dropped off at the airport, I called my ride back up, I got, you know, went back home, um, and it's so funny. So, like, with my family, like, basically what I said was, um, you know, I have not met this person before, um, I want to fly out, get to know him, and um, basically I just, like, got down his address and I asked him to send me, like, a picture of his driver's license. So at least we would have some of his information in case anything weird happened, because yes, this is completely bizarre um and yeah so he already had like my driver's license because he's the one who scheduled the flight and so when you're flying in u.s like you have to have the name spelled like perfectly if you have a middle name you you can't just have like the middle initial you have to have it exactly as it is on your driver's license plus your driver's license number for some airlines and your birthday and like all this stuff so like i just sent him you know a picture of my driver's license so anyways he took care of all of that later that night um you know i'm flying out and so the problem was the first airline i was with i would have had like a free checked bag um the second one like you have to like pay extra for a checked bag but you can get a carry-on and so i was like all right i guess i'm just bringing a carry-on it's only a couple days like isn't this the perfect size bag for like a carry-on like this bag is basically huge but to make matters worse because this is just like such a weird thing to do i was like there is no way i'm gonna get through this without alcohol like this is gonna be a drinking weekend and so i was like in my checked bag i could have put like a whole bottle of whatever of alcohol in there you know i could have put a whole bottle of wine in there but with the with a carry-on you can only bring things of like under 3.4 ounces and so what I had to end up doing is getting those mini shooter bottles. Like you'll see in like uh, like hotel refrigerators, you know, the mini shooters. So I just got like a bunch of those and put them in my toiletries bag. And so like, at least I had a couple of shots um, to get me through. Um, and of course you could always like get a drink from, you know, the airport bar, but I was just like, ugh, I'm gonna need something cause this is gonna, I don't know if it's gonna be awkward or not. I mean, he seems like a normal guy. He seems fine. It seems like we vibe, but you never know if you're meeting someone for the first time. And so um, I finally get there. He picks me up. Um, his house ended up being like huge. <laughs> um, it was really beautiful. Um, but right away I noticed that he had cameras up. So he had a lot of surveillance in the front of the house surveillance in the back he's actually having a pool put in so it's like there's like a 12 foot hole in the ground and then he had workers there like the next day the workers came because i got in on a wednesday night but there's workers there working on the pool um and then like just just the cameras I, I was worried like you know there was like one of those like you know security cameras like in the living room there's one in his bedroom and so i'm just like oh my gosh <laughs> like is this guy filming girls or something um i even when i'd go to like the bathroom like i'd be checking up above like just to see and so as far as for what he does like I know that he has a few properties that he rents out in South Florida, which if you guys know, the home market is insane. It's very expensive. Some of these homes that are like 16,000 square feet and like three bathrooms, which for uh, an American home, that's like, that's the average like size of a home. Like, you know, it's a pretty decent size, but like, it's not huge. 
even for that if you're trying to buy a home in some of these south florida lots of land it like starts at like 1 million he ended up being you know a decent person as soon as i get in like i'm wondering because you know his house has a couple bedrooms so i'm like wondering is he going to give me the guest bedroom um but he takes my bag and he goes straight to his bedroom and so at that point i'm like okay i can speak up and i can say something um, but I didn't end up saying anything. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why. Um, mm. yeah, I don't know why, but already it's just like, I don't usually like sleeping with people. Like I don't know, like I'm not talking about actually doing stuff. I'm like, I'm talking about like being in a bed with them. Um, it's just awkward. Um, I would rather have had my own bed, but whatever. Like I said, I could have said something, but I didn't. Um, I mean, overall, he was a decent guy. He wasn't a creepy guy. He made me feel very comfortable. Basically, uh, you know, the next day, like I wanted to go to the store, get some groceries for, you know, some meals that I want to cook. Cause like him being a single guy, like he doesn't really cook. So yeah, I don't want to like eat out all the time. And so I did that, got stuff like make different drinks. So like I made mint mojitos and then like we tried doing like a vodka infused watermelon and <laughs> that was funny. Um, but anyways, it was just a couple days, but we were just really chill. Um, we went out to brunch a couple times. Of course, one of the brunch places we go to. And so, okay, um, to, I guess, I guess to explain everything, most of the people on this website are going to be like, I would say 40s and up. Like, yeah, there are a couple of people who are like in their early 30s or even like in their 20s. But for the most part, I guess the people with a lot of money are just going to be older. And so he's actually like two years older than my mom <laughs> and my mom's in her 40s. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Moving on, um, of course, like I got his birth certificate while I was there because like I wanted to chart out some stuff with his natal chart because, you know, that's what I do. If you guys don't follow my second channel, um, we talk about a lot of astrology stuff and yeah, all that fun stuff. So, <laughs> I mean, all in all, I mean, I would say it was a good experience. Um, of course, when I got back home on Saturday, which I had another flight delay, which was like awful, but like I said, we're still having issues with Mercury retrograde. Like it doesn't go direct until this Wednesday. And so flights and everything are just gonna like be up in the air. So anyways, I get back home on Saturday and of course, like I'm not sure what he was, how, how he was like feeling about it. Like there was one thing that happened, like for the most part, like I was able to sleep on my side of the bed you know, I talked a little bit about a date that I had went on a couple of months ago with this guy who was like really pressuring sex and it was very uncomfortable for me. And obviously like, yeah, what happened with all of that? Um, so obviously with this guy, I'm, I'm just like, obviously men in general are thinking sex, but thankfully like he never brought it up. He never like asked for it, but there was one night where things got weird. Um, we both drank a lot. I'm sleeping and then I'm having a dream and basically in the dream, the dream that I'm having turns uh, like sexual like that. Like I have a lot of very vivid dreams anyways, but this one, it was, it was so sexual. And then like I woke up and he was actually, uh, doing things to me um and so yeah <laughs> yeah so i mean i wasn't sure how to uh like yeah i wasn't sure how to take that exactly it's like for the majority of the nights that we slept together he didn't try anything funny but that one night you know having someone rubbing on you and then like basically you wake up you know it was so funny because like i woke up and immediately i'm like thinking where am i like I really thought I was having a dream and it wasn't a dream. Um, but aside from that, and I just still don't know how I feel about that. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that was the only weirdness, but um, I guess it was nice to, like there wasn't any pressure for sex, but aside from that, and like when I woke up, like I just told him, get back on your side of the bed this isn't happening and he got back on his side of the bed 
and then you know the next day we didn't have any issues but i was you know pretty um you know flirty just as far as kisses throughout the day or like hugging and things like that so um it wasn't like we didn't vibe at all it was just that was obviously further than i wanted to go for someone that like you know i just met but you know i have been called a prude before <laughs> so you know for some people it's gonna be like oh that's not a big deal for someone who just flew you out but you know for me it's just like on my own time like i just get more comfortable with people but that's just how i am so yeah i wasn't sure if after like i got back home if he was like gonna just go ghost like this girl you know didn't give you know give it up like you know because like let's be honest most of these guys are going to be flying out girls that they think are escorts or looking for like sugar daddies or stuff like that and they're going to be expecting something um because i could tell in like a lot of their bios like they'd be like hey i'm not a sugar daddy don't ask me for money um i'm just looking for a companion and it's just like okay so i know like this site is like used by all types of people but let's be honest you get a lot of people doing stuff like that on even tinder um or even like bumble like some of these sites so it's like it's kind of everywhere but i wasn't like really sure if he was going to get back to me or if he was just going to be done but i mean he's still doing the same good morning text as he was before and so he hasn't said anything because obviously i only did this quick trip to get to go with him on the other trip up north and so i'm obviously waiting to get that invite because i think he's going like probably around like july 4th and then i know he'll be staying up there for like a month or so so obviously any week i could go up there so we'll see if he actually like extends the invitation so i could go but you know he has said things about having me you know seeing me again and stuff like that and he is a sagittarius um i tend to attract a lot of sagittarians um the last guy i went on a date with and like i made a video about and like i talked about on this channel he was also a sagittarius with a sagittarius rising this guy is the same sagittarius sagittarius rising but he has a pisces moon um oh and his mars is in aries so you know how that is anyways um so obviously like i really like you know i want to stay focused <laughs> I need to get to like my Venus line, my Venus Jupiter line, because like I have an area where they like they intersect. So it's like it's not just Venus, it's also Jupiter. So there is another guy, um, and he actually lives in Dallas of all places, which I've already been to Dallas, but only once though. It was like for a couple days and that was like a couple years ago. So he lives in Dallas and he's also from the site and we've been talking for the same amount of time as this guy. And so with these things, obviously you don't want to put like all your eggs in one basket. Cause like, you know, this guy could have found like a new girl to fly out like at any time. So, you know, usually like if you have like a bunch of people who are messaging you, just like kind of wait a few days and see like who falls off and like who stays. So with this guy, like we FaceTimed a few times and like, you know, we talk, um, usually like we'll, we'll text daily. And so, um, you know, th this is another one where it's like, I have like my goal, but I can see how easily like my goal is getting like distorted because like so he wants to do a trip to Colorado which is nothing wrong with Denver or Vail or you know all those pretty mountain towns I really like Colorado but at the same time like um I'm like my lines over in Colorado are like the sun and moon and like some other stuff like that like so it's like it's a I guess it's an auspicious place for me but like at the same time like I've already been there so like I already know like yeah the energy is amazing it's fun and so I don't know if I'm gonna like go meet him just to have fun for like closer to like the 4th of July weekend just to get out and do something fun um or if I should just like stay focused because like you know technically one trip can go one way like I know this guy for sure like he's really really bored like he works in the advertisement business and he owns his home in Dallas and so um he has a lot of work coming in and basically he was like i can literally work from anywhere like all of the meetings i do like i don't have to actually be there in person and so he was like ready to go on like a trip like last week and me i was just like no 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 because like you know i was trying to wait for things that, like, that were gonna happen with this guy that like i just went with um and so it's like i don't know if i should go and then obviously that would be my first time meeting and then maybe the second trip we'll get to go to somewhere like i really want to go 
um, because obviously Colorado is going to be more exciting, more fun for him. And then the places I need to go are going to, like, you know, basically just going there because of my astrology. But I, I don't know. So, yeah. Decision, decisions. But uh, so the funny thing is, the entire time, like, you know, I took some of my supplements and then some days, like, I just wouldn't. And so I already see, like, how derailed I got from what Wednesday. Wednesday, I kept everything the no normal Thursday, and then it was like Friday, Saturday. So, but yeah, there's already like two and a half days where, like, I completely forgot about, like, my process. I couldn't bring my semi permanent lotion on the plane because I was going to have it in my packed luggage because, like, it's so big. And so I left it here. So like for three days, I didn't do it because I'm supposed to do a like I want to do my update video today, but like that's not gonna happen because I haven't been taking it for a full month yet. So I, I need to bring like wait like three more days before I do that. And so it's just funny. It's like yeah, I want to go and have fun, but at the same time, it's like it's so hard to be traveling and then to still stick with like my routine and everything. So now that I know what it's like. And obviously like I was drinking a lot like when I was on this like last trip so it's like I'm gonna have to like figure this out um, I brought a lot of like my powders like my sorbic acid um, some of my I have like this powdered drink mix it's just like a veggie like a green veggie mix um, I brought that and then I brought, brought my magnesium and then the uh, gemnema sylvestra um, and then of course MSM and then I brought glutathione. I just didn't take it because I was lazy and yeah Yeah, so I don't know guys, but uh, yeah, that's my little adventure story time and um, Yeah <laughs> Let me know if you want to hear about the possible next one or how this saga ends